Welcome everybody to another episode of Community Voices. Hope everybody's been doing good. Um, today we are joined with amazing supermodel, amazing mother as well, Chanel Iman. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Community Voices. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into things here real quick. Uh, you started modeling at a very young age. Um, I think 12 or 13, very, very, pretty young. Yeah. Um, it's always interesting with modeling because like everybody's story and kind of how they get into it, especially depending on when they get into it, it's so different. Um, mm -hmm. For you, what was what was that experience like? Like, how did you get into modeling early on? I started in, um, well, I'm from LA. So I started in LA and I signed with Ford Models at the time. Um, and then by the time I was 15, um, I took a trip to New York City and did a like a supermodel of the world contest. Um, and Ford had signed me in their New York division. Um, I moved to New York very young and then my career kind of took off by the age of 16. I was on the runway and, um, shooting for some of the most amazing high-end designers, um, and lived in New York, spent a lot of time in Paris and London. And yeah, ever since then, it's just like, I haven't been back to LA that's well, a lot I've been, I've been back to LA but moved back to LA I've yeah I've been here on the east coast for working. sure and and that's a lot like to from when you started to all you like that's granted there's a lot of work that goes into those moments of traveling and just like consistently staying on that kind of path that is yeah. a lot of traveling that's a lot of things taking in so young it's a lot of like growth that's happening while you're growing in your career mm -hmm. um like what was that like like what was it like growing up but then taking in the movement of like going from place to place and still like just growing as a woman like what was that like I love traveling so it was perfect for me to explore the world at an early age and just um I was living my dream. I still am. You know, it's it's something that I've prayed for my entire life is to just be successful in, in my field and just like try to do everything possible to break barriers. I love that. I love that. And you've been doing it so early on. That's definitely a blessing to, to do that. It's like many lives live so yeah. early too. Um, in that time when, you, when when you're doing all this traveling, was there a specific moment? Was there a specific shoot? Was there a specific conversation? Was there any kind of specific seed that was planted that you realized that like, oh, I can actually really do this? Granted, you're going from you know country to country, city to city uh, with this different different modeling, but was there a specific point that kind of stands out where you realized like this was the shift that made you take it even like more serious? Well, with the support of American Vogue and being on the cover so young, I was only 16 at the time. Um, it was definitely life changing for me. And the support of um, Anna Wintour definitely gave me the confidence to say, yes, I can. And 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 just prayer really is just like just just praying and 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 visualizing exactly what it is that I wanted in my career and just being a go-getter is really what um, broke down the barriers that I broke. I love that. I love that it was even, you know, it, it was not to say it was simple, but just the idea of just, you know, if you can see it, then clearly it's the reality that's there. All you have to do is figure out the in-between. So I, I love that that was kind of like the vision uh, of it and that you have faith in yourself and the plan of your life. I think I that's still a big do. I still have visions of doing creative things, you know, excuse my baby. No, <laughs> no, it's fine. Right <laughs> You're um, good. But yeah, I still have the vision of doing other things outside of what I've been doing for many years, but just like, just, I just get creative and I have, I, I, I think about what I want to do. And, and if it lives within my heart, I know it's possible because it's been placed in my heart. Mm. Eva goal. I love that. I love that. Um, before I move, I, I want to also jump into it's also AAPI month. I want to jump into that, but I want to ask you one more question before we transition to that spot. Um, anything in particular, a certain moment that like stands out as like one of your favorite moments, whether it's like a favorite walkway, somebody you met during that time, any kind of like favorite golden nuggets that you kind of have from that experience early on. In fashion? Yeah, or just in general, actually, too. I don't want to limit it to fashion. Um, well, I think like 
in fashion i remember tyra banks taking me to like lunch with my mom and just you know she was someone i always looked up to when i lived in la and i was cutting up magazines of like different models putting them on my wall she was always there <laughs> you know and um you know once i realized that that I was I was getting somewhere once she invited me on a lunch date and she took me to Soho and we just like hung out and she just like gave me an encouragement to keep going. That mm -hmm. was definitely something that I will always remember. And it was really nice of her to do such a thing. Absolutely. I love that. Those moments are, are really big and key, uh, especially earlier on. when You only see these people, like I said, cutting out through magazines and to be sitting at lunch like it's that's those, yeah. are, key moments. those are key moments. Um, yeah. You know, I mentioned AAPI month as well. Um, mm -hmm. I would love to just kind of know, tap into your brain a little bit, you know, um, what does that kind of month also kind of like mean to you? And um, everybody, I think also, there's no specific one way to celebrate really anything. Okay, watch. Uh, there's no specific one way to really celebrate anything. Um, and everybody celebrates things differently as well. So like, mm -hmm. how do you kind of like celebrate that within your own way? And like, what does that mean to you? Well, I don't personally celebrate AAPI month. I recognize its significance in honoring and promoting awareness of Asian American and Pacific Islander heritage, culture, and contributions. But it's important opportunity to reflect on the rich diversity and history within the AAPI community. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I would love to know too, like um, when, when you think like what, how can I explain? How am I, let me figure out how to, how to word this. Within that, like, do you, so let me get my words together. Mm -hmm. So how do you kind of, how would you say like you kind of carry uh, that heritage in your culture and some of the work that you do? I know like, um, I mean that in the sense of like, I know for me, I try to carry it on through Juneteenth, but I also to make sure I'm always tapping in with people around me, people who want to be in this space, who have a hard time, but like, I try to make sure I, Keep that diversity piece that you speak about going um working with the, working in that area how, how do you kind of like carry that into your works and like the the community work you do and like the creative endeavors that you do um how would you kind of say that you kind of carry that in, into those spaces well my mother has had a mo like the most profound impact on my life and professional journey mm -hmm. her unravel wavering support wisdom and re resilience has been a consistent source of inspiration and guidance for me so she's really installed in me the values of hard work and um, compassion and um, shaping me into the woman that I am today. I love that. I love that. And I, it's, that's, that's very key because, you know, it all starts at home, really. It starts with, the, you know, the family and, and what they instill in you from an early age and how you continue to develop and grow within that. So I, I love that. It's very key. Um, <laughs> Speaking to me, you know, this community voice, so we're also going to make sure that we're continuously giving back. And I'm, I'm going to actually make sure I say this correctly. So I'm going to ask for the pronunciation and then I'm going to pronounce the eight. Uh, mm -hmm. Is this the Shaw Down Foundation? Shaw Down Foundation, yes. Say it one more time. Shaw, Shaw Down, Shaw Down Foundation. Okay, like, all right. Shaw, Shaw Down. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. So we'll be donating 20K to the Shaw Down Foundation um, mm -hmm. to continue our mission. Did I do it right? Yes. <laughs> I get name anxiety, so I was like, please. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so we'll be giving 20K to continue just, you know, giving back to the community and continuing to have our impact um, as well. Uh, for those who aren't as familiar, the mission is to provide at-risk youth with programming uh, that supports their education, their fitness, and overall just well-being uh, throughout mm -hmm. different community events and mentorship programs that um, they provide to the kids for a safe space to, uh, to participate Things like that are so pivotal because those moments affect those children in ways that we don't even always see. Um, and so, you know, those things save kids' lives. It changes their mentality, changes their perspective. Uh, and those kind of moments and things and interactions, uh, rather it's seeing somebody they've never seen before or talking with another kid or just being a part of something where they can actually express uh, mm -hmm. certain emotions that maybe they can't get out or they just need to be expressed. Those things are extremely important. So I want to first say very much so that that work is extremely important. Um, mm -hmm. With that being said, uh, what, what kind of, and Brandon, those are probably the reasons why you started the charity, but I would just love to know from your own opinion too, like what like kind of um, helped get that charity going? Like what was the kind of like the foundation uh, in that process? Well, my husband started 
the Chow Down Foundation when he first got into the league. And it was something that we both discussed when we were getting to know each other mm -hmm. and it connected us and we came up with creative ideas on how to give back. And, you know, he started off with football camps and we've done um, together um, uh, backpack giveaways for back to school. Um, we just did a Mother's Day luncheon at the Gillette Stadium and we gave away 50 um, upper baby strollers and we had a ladies lunch, which was um, an idea that I've always had and wanted to give in to, to women in need. Um, we also um, are, we're planning to do turkey drives and um, Christmas gift giving giveaways, but we just get creative and try to figure out what, what else can we do for the Chow Down Foundation. We do everything out of love um, and we do everything together. I love that. I love that. And you actually just answered my last, my last question was also what are the things that are going on in 2024, which I think you answered, but I actually want to ask one more question before we get ready to wrap things up. I know you know, because I don't want to get in front of mommy time either. I want to make sure I respect your time as well. No, no, she's um, actually doing good. <laughs> and actually, it, it's actually related to, uh, the mommy piece because, um, I know it's our first time meeting, but I could, there's, there's a, there's a certain kind of radiation that you have as like the mother. I can just tell it just brings you so much joy. Like it's something that like when yes. you're when you when you when you're talking about your child or talking about being a mother or things like that, there's like a certain kind of like joy that just automatically just springs up to you. And I can tell that that's something that brings you a lot and really feeds your spirit. Um, mm -hmm. you when you have the drive for Mother's Day and giving back, can you describe to me what was that feeling like and what is it like to not just be a mom but to be able to support moms in that way so you know when I re reach an achievement like one of my things that I've always prayed for was to give back and that's what 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 made me want to do what I do to inspire and uplift and to change people's lives and that's why I go so hard at everything that I do in my life when I know that I'm I reached a point to be able to do that it makes me feel fulfilled like it's no greater feeling than giving back um and yeah like I I want to continue to do that cuz that's what that that feeling that you get when you are able to be in a position to have a voice and to ha to use it for good is the ultimate um achievement mm. I love that I love that and it's like I said, it's just it 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 is such a feeling. It's hard to really describe, but you know, in in my opinion, I do think that that's a big part of our our reason for being here. How do we affect? How do we affect and have an impact on those around us? Whether it be kids, whether it be somebody we don't yeah. know, whether it's a close friend, like what is the impact that you have while you're here, and how can you touch as many people as you can? Well, I think also like my husband, he's really good at like being that leader for young young um boys that want to get into football and he's so good like the first time I went to his football camp there's just so many young guys that look up to my husband and he's so good with like you know mentoring and like you know just being a good role model for them I felt like it was my duty as his wife to be a good role model for the girls you know um and for women in general women supporting women is is the most powerful thing out there so especially during um, childbirth and post uh, postpartum and, you know, there's just, it's just like the most important thing that we all support each other in a, in a community. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm not even going to like speak on top of that. I think that's the perfect way to bring this to a close. I completely agree. But thank you so, so much for joining us uh, and take cutting out time to do everything. Please continue the work that both of you do together and individually. It is those things, you know, you know, I don't have to explain how valuable those things are. You know, you felt the impact. So just thank you so much for all the work that you do and the creative output that you put into this world. Yes. And thank you so much for don donating to our foundation. We definitely are going to use it for good. And we plan on doing some crazy, outrageous galas and really cool things. to. So it will be put into use in a very good, positive way. So thank you. Absolutely. I love it. We can't wait to see it. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Community Voices, everybody. Until mm -hmm. then, take care. Bye. <laughs>